Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some awesome early Black Friday deals under $100. Now I want to be straight up with you. Actually, one of these is going to be over $100, but if you don't have one, I personally think it's well worth it. And before we get started here, I always like to mention, you know, these companies do these sales all year long. We've got Black Friday, Cyber Monday, they do uh, TV sales around NFL kickoffs and stuff like that. So don't feel pressured to buy anything on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. You will find these deals again. Basically, what these companies are doing here is trying to clear out inventory for the end of the year. And really, a lot of people see these deals and think they're going to be saving money by buying it, but that's not true because you're spending money no matter what. The best way to save the maximum amount of money on Black Friday or Cyber Monday is to not buy anything at all. That way, you haven't spent any money, and you can save that money you didn't spend on Black Friday items. But if it's not going to break the bank and you're looking for an early Black Friday deal, I've got a few here for under $99, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so jumping right into it with some console game deals. Now, uh, over at Walmart, they are offering some really great deals on some Switch games, and especially some first-party Switch games, which rarely go on sale all year. 29 bucks, you can pick up Link's Awakening, Mario Party Superstars, or Animal Crossing. We've also got Sonic here, but we'll see a price dip on this within a few weeks, and it'll probably be permanent. But for the first-party titles, this would definitely be worth it if you don't already have this game. And uh, going down a bit, they've also got some deals on PS5 and Xbox games. But when it comes to these, we usually see deals on this every other week at like Best Buy. Uh, Gran Turismo 7, 35 bucks, And I saw Halo Infinite for 20 but if you've got Game Pass, you've already got it. I would definitely uh, check out their selection of Switch games if you're looking for them. And yeah, 29 bucks, these three would be worth picking up. Sticking with kind of the console theme here, this is something I always look for when these sales are going on, and that's first-party controllers. So right now, over on Amazon and Best Buy, you can pick up the Xbox One controller for $39. You can go with white or black, and I believe the red is also $39. Some of these are out of stock, but uh, Best Buy does have them also. Looks like the more sought-after colors will be a bit more expensive, coming in at $44. But yeah, there's really nothing wrong with the core editions, the black or the white, at $39. Bucks. Really great to have an extra around. And another console controller we rarely see deals on is on sale over at Best Buy right now for $49.99. The PlayStation 5 or the DualSense wireless controller. And they've got all of the colors. Black, you can pick up this blue, pink, or even the purple. And it's a $25 discount. These are usually really expensive. I mean, coming in at around $75. Bucks. Unfortunately, right now, as making this video, this deal is not on Amazon. But by the end of the week, we may see this discount over there also. But yeah, I mean, getting a good deal on a PS5 controller and an Xbox controller. If you need an extra or if you want a controller for your PC or Android device, this would be really worth picking up. And speaking of your PC or Android device, extra storage is actually coming in really cheap around Black Friday. You can pick up the Samsung 512GB Evo Select Micro SD card for $44. And just a heads up, I mean throughout the year, at least once a month on Amazon, you can actually find deals on these 512GB cards, uh, sometimes even cheaper than this but it will be a slower card. This is an Evo Select, which would work out great for the Switch, the Steam Deck, your Android phone, a Raspberry Pi. I mean, these are actually really nice cards, and it's really not a bad deal what we're seeing here. We're going to stick around on this page for a second because another thing I'm always looking for, actually throughout the year, every other month, is more storage. Be it micro SD card, M.2 NVMe SSDs, or external drives. And over on Amazon, Samsung is running a big sale on storage. So as we saw with that Evo Select 512GB micro SD card, you can pick up this 256GB flash drive for 24 bucks. The 870 Evo SSDs are also on sale. So yeah, I mean, if you were looking for a little extra storage for basically anything, they probably got you covered over here. And kind of the same as Amazon, Best Buy is also running kind of a storage sale. One that I found that actually I just picked up is a Western Digital Easy Store 5 terabyte external USB 3.0 drive. Now it would be nice to have an SSD with 5 terabytes, but these do come in really handy for storing extra games, and it's coming in at $89.99. And just like clockwork, around any holiday, Amazon has deals on their Fire devices, uh, their Echo devices, everything Amazon branded is probably on sale right now over on Amazon. 
when it comes to their tablets, I would stay away from the seven inch and the new eight inch. Even the brand new eight inch tablet isn't really great. The best one to pick up, if you wanna pick up a cheaper tablet, is the Amazon Fire HD 10. Their lower end model is coming in at $74.99 and their HD 10 Plus, which has wireless charging and more RAM than the base model is 104 and uh, you're gonna save $75 on this. So if you were thinking about picking one of these up this year, now's probably the time. And again, their Fire streaming devices are also on sale. We've got the Fire TV Stick 4K for 25 bucks, not bad at all. I would go with the 4K Max, and you know, I would actually pick up this one over the old Fire Cube. But if you wanted to spend some more, I would go with the brand new Fire Cube. It's just gonna offer much better performance. But you probably already have a TV with these kind of capabilities built in. But I gotta say, on these entertainment devices, one of the best deals I've seen so far is over at Best Buy. You can pick up the Hisense 40 inch 1080p, it's the A4G series LED Full HD TV for $100. They're usually $249. Now, it's definitely not an 85 inch OLED display, but at $99, it's really hard to beat this. And even all year long, we'll see TV deals. This is still one of the best that I've seen. Great for the kids' room, extra little gaming TV, maybe the garage if you're working out there. You could set something like this up for really cheap. And like I mentioned, I wanted to keep all of these early Black Friday suggestions under $100 except for one, and that's going to be the Xbox Series S. Now, you actually might be able to find this for the same deal at Walmart on Black Friday. These are going for $250 right now over on Best Buy. And, you know, I actually have the Xbox Series X and the S. My S is set up in my office. This is the one I use most of the time. I'd say 85% of the time I'm using this one over the X. I completely understand that everybody wants the more powerful X version. But uh, this is actually a really great little console if you're into Xbox. And at $249, not refurbished, brand new, this is something you could actually get your hands on. So yeah, those were my early Black Friday deal suggestions, and I will have one more video coming up as soon as we can get all of the Black Friday ads in and online. I do want to do one Black Friday video. I know for sure we'll see more and better deals, you know, getting closer to Black Friday. But right now, there are a lot of early Black Friday deals going on, and you know, there might be something here that you've been looking into getting. But like I mentioned at the beginning, best way to save the maximum amount of money is not to buy anything at all. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I will leave links to everything I mentioned in the description. And, you know, if you run across anything that's a really awesome deal, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.